Hello everyone, my name is Paige Wallace. I am a 18 year old, newly 18, um, year old high school senior from New York City. And this, I'm just gonna upload a couple videos to tell you more about who I am and what I like to do. Uh, so this video is gonna be all about books because I love books. I don't know if you can see it, but there is my bookshelf in the back of there. That's not the only place I store my books. I also, I've also i also taken to putting them underneath my bed so I can, um, well, that bookshelf style, so I can see the labels. And I also have a big, huge bookshelf in my living room. Um, so I love books, and I'm, I'm just making this video about my recommended reading materials. Um, first up, I know you've heard about it because it's been in the news a lot, but... The Hunger Games. This is actually a paperback edition because um, I had my edition for uh, a couple years since it came out. And yes, because I'm that old. No, because I've, I've found the series really early before it got popular. Um, and I really love hardback, but my, I lost my hardback. Or I think I gave it to someone. And uh, my mother gave me a paperback for my birthday. So yay. Um, it's really this amazing story. Um, it has everything in it from political science. I'm a political science intended major because I start college in the fall. And it has everything. It's not a girly sci-fi thing. It has science fiction in it. Um, but it's really everything you want could ever want in a book. In this book. And then um, also, there's Catching Fire, the sequel to The Hunger Games. And also, The Mockingjay, which is the triple, tricle, well, it's the three books in one. And if you start, I remember my first time reading The Hunger Games, if you start it, you're not going to want to stop. I remember I didn't want to sleep. I, I'm so happy I didn't read it on a school day, because that would have been horrible. I'd have to stop to do classwork. Um, I read it on the weekend, and I just didn't go to sleep till like 6 in the morning, woke up a couple hours later, started reading again. Um, yeah, it's highly addictive. So, Hunger Games is my top recommended reading. Um, next up, well, I guess you can call this teen, yeah, teen reading. Um, it's the series called Wither. It's also a trilogy, like The Hunger Games, except... Actually, you can say it's kind of similar to The Hunger Games, except um, well, it's two completely different times. Well, both are set in the future. This is set in the future, and it's like American society, due to this, because we're always experimenting with new drugs and medicines and whatnot, because of a drug, a medicine, it's a, a cure. Okay, so they're created a cure, and this cure is, if you have it, you have no diseases at all. You live a long healthy life till you're 150 so they injected one generation with it and they lived to be long and then they noticed their children of the generation that was injected with it died all females died at the age 20 all males 25 so it's like set in the future it's very it's an amazing novel I really recommend you read it this is also a trilogy so the first book is called Wither the second book just came out in February and this is called Fever and um, the third book is coming out, um, I think in September or maybe next February. But definitely, I recommend it. Lauren De Stefiano, amazing writer. Um, okay, for all you poli sci government junkies, we have "I Am America and So Can You" by Stephen Kober. Um, he has this little show. I remember. When I was 14 and 13, when I started watching the Stephen Colbert show, The Colbert Report, and The Daily Show, um, it's a great introduction to anything poli sci related. It's a very funny book. It's not meant to be serious. It's meant to be funny. It's comedy. Um, so if you, want to, if, if, if you ever want to take a break from your classes and your crazy college workload or high school workload, AP workload, you can always come read this book and just laugh your butt off. Uh, yeah. So, um, if you're in the mood for an inspirational story, there's always Unbowed by Wangari Matai. She's a Kenyan activist for environmental sustainability. 
and um, she is, well currently, however, I found out a couple months after I finished reading the book that she passed away, but she is the founder of the Green Belt Movement. She's accomplished so many things in her life. Like, I don't know if you can, well, you can see the little tabs. These are all tabs of quotes that I loved how I just couldn't stop. And like, I always turn to these things when I'm feeling sad and I'm like, I need some inspiration in my life. Um, yeah, so let me see if I can, yeah, so here's a quote from page 158, I'm just going to read it really quickly. When pressure is applied to me unfairly, I tend to dig my heels and stand my ground, precisely the opposite of what those applying the pressure hoped or expect. At that time in Kenya, if you thought the government didn't want you to take on a certain position, you generally withdrew. So this is just uh, a quote describing her method of doing things. Like, she's not one to conform. She stands out. And I love this book. I recommend you buy it. And it's printed on, um, I think, 100% environmentally recycled paper. If you notice the little, it's different from a regular standard book. And I love that part. Um, so yeah, this book is amazing. Also, books that I, another series that I recommend, because I love it so much, and I'm obsessed for anyone who's in my generation, 90s Babies and 2000 Babies, The Walking Dead, the epitome of every zombie movie, The Walking Dead by Robert Kirkman is amazing, um, I love it so much. I recommend it if you're like a zombie fan like me. Um, <laughs> what a wide range of books that I've just taught to you. I've got, my best friend got me the Compendium 1, which is books 1 through 4. It's a comic series, in case I didn't mention that. Um, and it's an amazing book altogether. And however, it doesn't end at book 4. It it goes on to book five, six, seven, eight. I think it's up to eight so far, but there's gonna be more books. And there's also the show, and the the show's amazing. And it's not like you read the book and then the show's exactly the same. The show is different. It's got a different storyline completely. There are some major aspects to it that are the same and gonna be the same, but um, it's different. So it's not like you're, cause I think the problem with people, the, the thing that people make, the reason why they make movies out of books is to get that visual representation where the words fail to do. But here you already have the visual representation. So you really just, you need a storyline similar to the thing, but not completely the same. Um, yeah. So another book that I'm going to recommend um, I think it's essential for maybe every teenager or above teenager out there. The Driver's Manual. Wait, no, that's okay now. Yes, the Department of Motor Vehicles. Driver's Manual. For all the people who want to learn how to drive, I don't know how to drive as of yet. Um, I live in New York City, so it's not really needed because we're really heavily on public transportation. Um, so... Yeah, but I'll definitely learn how to drive before I go to college. In case you want to know, I'm going to American University. And, um, yeah. And last but not least, I think this book is incredible, and you should definitely... You know what? This is my top recommendation that I'm going to give to you. Definitely get this book, and you'll learn how to cherish it. You'll, it'll teach you so many things. And that's this. No, the book is not called My Moments. This is actually a journal. I think writing to yourself, well, not to yourself, but writing down your thoughts, your opinions, is definitely essential, and it will just make you a better person overall. Like, as I noticed, as I'm writing, it forces me to take down my thoughts and not just think them one day, forget them for the rest of my life. Here, I'm very excited. I really wanted to write a journal um, so I can read it, 20 years from now, I think, this is what I felt when I was a teenage girl. How incredible was this? Um, so, yeah, and journals can be all shapes and sizes. This is actually a completed journal that I've written, and I've actually finished it, and I called it My Senior Year.
a memoir. Okay, so this is the time that I'm recording. Um, I recommend you get a journal. Um, the books are Driver's Manual, The Walking Dead, Stephen Colbert's I'm America and So Can You, Unbowed, Wangari Matai, Wither, Lauren DeStefiano, The Hunger Games, Suzanne Collins. I recommend all those great books to you. And if you have any books you want to recommend, go right ahead. <laughs> so thank you, have a nice day, and enjoy life. C'est la vie.